Welcome everyone to Civil CAD Learning Solutions help video. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting the presets for the pavement quantity app. Setting presets will save you time. That way you don't have to assign an actual pavement name uh, to each particular pavement hatch. So what does that look like? So let's go through that process. I'm going to activate our commands, asking me to insert, insert the table. I'm going to pan over here to the, to the left. And it recognizes all the different pavement patterns or hatch patterns within the drawing here. But I want to have some presets. That way I don't have to assign each a name to each one of these patterns. Um, also thicknesses or units. So I'm going to go up top here under Edit Pavement Mapping. And we're going to go through that process and start assigning uh, names to the patterns. So I'm going to click on the first one. And I do have an ANSI 31. And that one, I just kind of wrote down, just kind of cheating here, and <laughs> wrote down the names here uh, within the drawing. So I know that's my dumpster pad. So I'm going to go dumpster pad. And that's my 10 inches. We're going to say it's 10 inches. And it's $120 per cubic yard. We'll create a Nancy 32. Okay. And that one, Nancy 32, is uh, dry vials. And that is six inches, and we'll say that is $65 per cubic yard. And then we're gonna have also a ANSI 33. There we go. ANSI 33 will be our driveway entra entrance. And that will be, we'll say it's eight inches, and we'll sign, let's say $85 per cubic yard. And then we also have, I think it's dots, and that's our building slab. So we'll see. Building slab, and we'll say it's 12 inches, and that would be $150 per cubic yard. Uh, the next one we'll include here, we'll go with angle. There it is, that is our private sidewalk. Okay. And we'll say it's four inches. Um, let's say we'll say it's uh, $30 per cubic yard. All right, then we have um, arc sand in this drawing. And our arc sand is the public sidewalk. Same thing, four inches. And I'm not typing in inches, I'm just typing in four, okay? Same, same cost. Oh, I think I picked the wrong one. Sand. There we go. Let's see. Am I missing any other parking dry balls? Fire lane. Okay. The fire lane is, is uh, a solid hatch. And we'll say it's seven inches. And the fire lane will be $75 per cubic yard. So we got fire lanes, public pad, okay. Parking stalls. So we have one more. And the parking stalls will say arc concrete. And that would be five inches typical. And we'll say the parking stalls are $60 per cubic yard. Now I'm going to save this now. It's basically uh, save as a pavement, um, save as pavement mapping. Say yes. And then you'll get a little dialog box come open. We're going to give it a name, uh, Pavement Legend uh, Test. I'm just going to call it Test. And just hit Enter, don't hit Open. And I'll save it. And I'll hit the Save button. Okay. Now, when I open a new drawing, when I start setting pavement, I can pull this up and I don't have to assign the pavement names to the legend. So I think I got them all set here. I don't think I've missed any. Solid inch. Okay, and I'm going to click uh, close. Notice here, automatically updated. If I was opening a new drawing, I would just simply come up here, open the pavement mapping, point to that file, test, uh, and then I would process it and run it. So notice here, all the names are, are, are listed there, and I'll click OK, and now my table is updating. Now, it is dynamic, like I said. You know, if you delete something um, here, if I delete that, and hit the update button. You still have to hit the update button. You'll see the quantities update. I just noticed it updated automatically. Um, now there is a feature tool also in here. When I click it, go to edits, 
it says add new ha new hatches. This is automatic. So when you hit update, you know, it updates automatically. Here, I would manually have to add the hatch and then hit the update button. So usually I keep this on. That way I can just hit the update button. There is an option here to ignore a hatch or if there's a hatch on a particular layer. So for example, maybe landscaping, I can click on here and select that layer. If there was a landscape layer here, that way it doesn't recognize and it'll ignore the hatching layer. All right, so thank you for watching and email us if you have any questions. Thank you.